Hello there, my name is Anita Tulega and um, this is the diary of a single mother. Funny enough, I have my son, my 12 years old son, behind the camera is a DOP for this segment. And it's funny because one, he has no idea but because this has been a lifestyle for me so he's able to understand what he needs to do. He's actually, he's my makeup artist right now, <laughs> he's my DOP. He's also my customer. Actually, he told me that this is what I should wear for this program. Anyway, um, last week we talked about getting pregnant, and this week we're going to be talking about family fears. Um, it's kind of it feels very awkward for me right now because I'm talking about the diary of the single mother, and my son is behind, is listening to everything I'm saying, and probably start having ideas of how my life has been when I was still very young. Anyway, you understand, isn't man? <laughs> Well, um, viewers, family fears. There are a whole lot of things that goes about or goes along with the family fears. Well, as always, it's my diary and I'm going to be sharing it all with you. But I know a lot of people have different stories about how their families reacted when they got to know that they were pregnant. Well, for my own case, I it was both sides. My maternal side, my paternal side. Well, I'm not going to be diving into the details, but I just think I was fortunate enough to have um, had the kind of experience that I had. I think the time that prepared me, you know, the person I am today. I didn't have it very smooth with my family. It wasn't a regular kind of thing, you see. I only had one person be behind me, which was my grandma. You know, with everything that came with me, she was there, she was my rock, and she stood by me and all that. You know, till I had a child. And... Um, most families have different way of reacting. I remember there was a friend, not really a friend, a friend told me a story about someone she knows uh, got kicked out of her parents' house. She was um, driven to the streets. So she had to start making a living you know, from the streets if she had the child and all that. You know, then there are some people who, oh, when you tell your family that you're pregnant, it's really your mother and mother will be like, oh my god, you don't have to take that child away. You have to keep that, you know, you have to keep the child and all that. Then you also have some people who tell you that. Um, they just take you, bundle you up, wrap into the, into their car, and take you straight to the boys' house. And if it's if you're even lucky, if you're not lucky, they'll take a policeman alongside with you to arrest the vagabond who got you pregnant. And when they get to the boys' house, watch me. Hey, this and that, come out. You know your son got my daughter pregnant. Blah 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 blah. You know there'll be some family tussle, and they tell you to live with them. And if the fam family, the boys' family, are not accommodative, you see yourself in the streets. So there are so many sides of family fears. Now, how do you deal with family fears? Well, this is my candid advice. It worked for me, it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. When I got pregnant, when I knew I got pregnant and everybody was all against me and my grandma took me in, you know, I felt that the best kind of, um, uh, should I say, treatment was to allow me to kill a child. You know, they fed were punishing me because, well, okay, yeah, she now think that she knows what it means to meet a man and get pregnant, right? Good. Now is the time for her to go through what it means to get pregnant and also have a child. Let her suffer there, you know, and all that. Then I took it up as a challenge. And I realized that at least I have somewhere to stay. Now I had a house to stay, so definitely that part was already taken care of. I wasn't going to be thrown out of my house. Now, having the child gave me a sense of responsibility. In the sense that you now realize that you're not just responsible to yourself, you're responsible to your unborn child, you know. And you now feel that like, yes, I could actually do something to make life better for this child, you know, and you will never want to make that mistake again. That is the basic truth. The best kind of punishment, the best kind of uh, uh, corrective measure is to allow your teenage child to keep the baby. Don't encourage abortion. No matter how bad it is. Another part again is this. Sometimes parents get to wonder like how did I get it wrong? What did I do? How did I not bring up this child? But did I make any mistake? Did I give her too many freedom? You know, and all of that. It has happened, it has happened. Now you have to think about the best way to correct it. And again, the child is the girl who start thinking like I'm pregnant right now. Her head is all almost everywhere. She start thinking about like my education, my friends. My family, my health, you know, depression starts setting in. And she doesn't have a family to fall back on, we accept her. Sometimes they end up committing suicide. You know, I can't tell you the number of times I actually thought about such anyway, but that's for another episode of the program, so I'm not going to be dealing with that all right here. But basically, when you realize you have a child that is pregnant, don't. 
try and put yourself in that shoe, in the shoes of that child. Try to understand your emotional um, um, situation. It helps you get a better understanding of what is best to do. But basically, this is advice for teenage young girls. If you know you've started having sex right now, and you know, well, it's if it's if it's broken, you can mend it. So you just have to accept the fact that yes, this is how it is. And you know, the best option for you is to correct your measure. Probably you just abstain if you know you're not pregnant, pregnant right now. And wait till when you're of the legal age to start having sex. Yes, wait till you are the legal age to start having sex. And when you know you can take responsibilities for your actions. And if you know you cannot stop that, then learn to use preventive measures. Get yourself a condom and learn to use contraceptives. I will advise you get yourself a condom. I think it's about 99%. Correct. So get yourself a condom. Always use condom to prevent embarrassing yourself, embarrassing your family. You get it. And also for families, learn to imbibe the culture of opening up to your children. I think most times when we get to that stage, because we're not having, we're not really friends with our kids. If you're friends with your kids, your kids will first to tell you what is going on in their personal life. And sometimes we find it very difficult. When we have family we can talk to, we tend to talk to our friends and that is what we get to learn the bad, bad side of life. And in learning the bad side of life, you know what to expect. You get to see friends who teach you the negative part and also the positive part. And that can lead to a lot of problems. So family, be more involved in your children's welfare, be more involved in your child's upbringing. And that way you get to know when a child is derailing or when a child is deviating from the normal lifestyle. When my son is nodding behind me right now and he's telling me that my time is almost up, he's actually blinking his finger like this. Five, four, three, two, one. Anyway, I'm not done yet. So you have to you have to wait from that. Mr. DOP, I'm not done yet. I'm still talking to my friends and my loved ones on YouTube. And then next week we're gonna be talking about something else, something totally different. I don't know what the topic is gonna to be yet. And if you know you have some questions to ask me, you want me to talk about something about my experience, I don't mind I'm gonna share it with you. All you need to do is to send me an email on timeoutwithamidat at gmail.com and also subscribe to the channel where we get to give you more information every single week. Well I'll I'm seeing your girl, I'm Lega and um, my son says it's time. So it's time. Bye bye.